All right, let's clear up a classic space confusion. What's the difference between a lunar eclipse and the phases of the moon? I mean, both involve the Earth, the moon, and the sun, but what's actually happening up there? Let's start with the phases of the moon. Picture this. The moon orbits around Earth every month. As it moves, the sun lights up different parts of it, and that's what we see from down here. Sometimes we see a full moon, all bright and round. Other times, it's just a sliver, a crescent, or even totally hidden as a new moon. This cycle repeats, like clockwork, about every 29 and a half days. So, the phases are just about where the moon is in its orbit and how much sunlight is bouncing off it toward us. Now, a lunar eclipse? That's a whole different show. Imagine the Earth, the Sun, and the Moon lining up in a straight line. The Earth slides right between the Sun and the Moon, casting its shadow on the Moon. When that happens, the Moon can look reddish, kind of spooky. This is what people call a blood moon. But here's the thing. Lunar eclipses don't happen every month, because the Moon's orbit is tilted a bit. Most of the time, the moon passes above or below Earth's shadow. So, to sum it up... Phases of the moon. That's just the moon doing its regular orbit, showing us different slices of sunlight. Lunar eclipse. That's a rare cosmic event where Earth's shadow covers the moon, turning it red for a little while. Next time you look up at the night sky, you'll know exactly what you're seeing. Whether it's just another night in the moon cycle, or a rare lunar eclipse lighting up the sky, keep looking up.